I'm hopeful, I'm hoping that in fact the people will rise up against the smart meters because the issue is so much like the HSD. It's the government imposing, uh, uh, imposing something on the people. The smart metering program enables us to create a modern group. They were talking about going green, they're showing the countryside, they're showing families, they're saving us money. I'm like, oh, what commercial is this? And in the end, they talked about smart meters. It's almost subliminal, it's, it's not true. They're not actually going to save us money. BC Hydro's accounting is distorted. So what is the real reason why smart meters are coming? And they're going to charge you more money when you use your power at peak time. So it's not a, it's not a consistent, regular, power consumption and money that you are going to be paying like you did in the past, everything is going to go up. Plus, we are going to pay for the installation of these smart meters. This is a one billion dollar tax placed on the people of British Columbia without a single word of debate allowed in the legislature. We have recently the Union of BC Municipalities voting, uh, as I understand it, a large majority to have a moratorium on the installation of these smart meters. And yet, Christy Clark and Rich Coleman say they don't care. This is not really about saving energy. It's not really about protecting the environment. It's talking about consolidating control. The smart meter basically watches everything that goes on in the house down to the microsecond. It tells them what was turned on, when it was turned on, how long it was used for, and that's all data. That's all private stuff. With this new technology, you no longer have privacy in your own home. There's a device put to the side of your house that basically knows what's happening in the house. What you're doing, when you leave, when you come, when you go on vacation. And eventually, of course, every appliance you buy will have a device that connects to the smart meter and um, they'll know all the more still, they'll even know what you're cooking. I think there's some money being made here at the expense of uh, people's privacy and definitely at the expense of their health. Here's another layer of radiation that independent scientists have been saying for years is harmful. Not potentially harmful, it's harmful. I started feeling sick. It started with a rash. We couldn't really sleep well. I actually got headaches. I certainly don't want these waves bombarded into my home at my children. We believe there's going to be a lot of people that will be looking in the future to have some protection from these smart meters that are currently being installed in this building. 59,000, 60,000, there we go. What right does any corporation, any government organization particularly, have to expose people on a daily basis, on a 365 a year, 24 hour a day, uh, basis to something that can harm them. A Nanaimo mother is fuming after the installation of a smart meter led to smoke and then an all-out power outage at her home. I'm standing right now in front of my own meter. I've uh, put up a, a kind of generic sign that's available online that asks, um, uh, that acknowledges that BC Hydro has a right to come and check my meter but it says that I don't consent for, for the, them to have changed the technology to Wi-Fi smart meters. And although there are neighbors of mine who have had their meters changed, this seems to have at least held them off for now. Everybody needs to stand up and see that this is not okay. Serge Valencourt is refusing to let BC Hydro change his meter out. There's no way in God's green earth an installer can say that he has my consent. And he's not alone. Myself, I'm locked up. They're locked up. He's locked up. He's locked up. I could take you down the street and probably show you 10 homes on this street only because a few people have had the opportunity to do research and they're saying no. The government is, is, is not prepared to tell the truth and it's not prepared to have a debate. And if that's the case, we only have one thing left and that's people power. Take a stand and stand up for your rights and refuse these meters and speak out to your MLA and everyone you can. It's Big Brother. We've got to stop it. And now is the time to stop it, not after it's happened.